Fox 23 has obtained a copy of the controversial email sent to lawmakers last month by State Superintendent Ryan Walters. We told you the email contained pornographic scenes that Walters says you could find in public school libraries across the state. And a Fox 23 exclusive, Fox 23's Tony Mordzitski talked with Walters and other lawmakers about the contents of that email. Tony. Shay and Sarah, here in my hand is the very lengthy email sent out April 4th by Superintendent Ryan Walters. Now, on the front page of this, it explains why he sent it out to lawmakers, saying he wanted to provide complete transparency that his administration is doing all they can to protect children from, quote, demented ideologies. Now, because of some of the explicit pictures in this email, we will not be showing them. In this lengthy email, State Superintendent Ryan Walters sent this to state lawmakers. It shows timelines, actions taken, and preventative measures for pornography in schools, and a list of what he deems as questionable books. Is why are we emphasizing so much about sexuality in early grades? He says this email was written after meeting with lawmakers who had questions about what books were in schools. And after investigating some books found with LGBTQ relationships, storylines, pronouns, and sexual material, he wanted to make sure others were aware. It lists some books that were found in schools like Tulsa, Owasso, and Bixby that Fox 23 previously reported. And others were listed that he says was found in schools but does not identify by where. But for young children to talk about sexuality in graphic ways when you're talking about students in early grades, well, that's inappropriate. Now, hey, when you get into high school and you're starting to have conversations about different movements and history and different backgrounds, that might be acceptable. I spoke with Representative Mark McBride. He says this email is not an accurate representation of what's in schools. And all of these situations have been dealt with. They pointed out there's only like six of them or seven. One of them is being dealt with as we speak. They were dealt with under Joy Hoffmeister. And that the material that he stopped, seeing material that he sent in the packet is not even material that has been found in all home public schools. At the end of the email, it lists books for parents and districts to look out for in case they pop up, like Bye Bye Pronouns or others with a plot of inequality like Bitter or police brutality like Survive the Dome. We want our kids to understand history, and there's an appropriate time to do a deep dive into all aspects of history. I asked Superintendent Walters that if someone identifies as LGBTQ in a school, where can they go for any type of content or help? And he says that's a communication thing that needs to happen between uh, families and school districts. Covering news that matters on Tony Motorzitski, Fox 23 News.